Hello, this is a Fjell Raven Vardag jacket. To give it its proper title, the Vardag Jacket M. And this is size XL. Uh, just for info, I'm six foot one, about one meter eighty five, hundred and five kilograms. Don't know what that is in stone. Quite chunky, as you can see. Um, and fit wise, the XL. I would say is the size for me, uh, although it's a little on the snug side, but significantly to me personally, it's short. It's a short jacket just below the belt. Uh, it's, I'm not sure what purpose this jacket serves. It's an everyday cut, everyday style, but um, it's incredibly heavy duty. So the material, the G1000 material, which is 65% uh, uh, cotton and 35, hang on, I'm just reading off the label, and 35% and um, polyester. The G1000, superb uh, material, you can wax it, you can wax it a lot at the shoulders, less on the sleeves, you can f make it your own. Um, but this G1000, heavy duty, so why is it heavy duty for an everyday jacket? I'm not sure I'd wear this in the countryside or on a hike. Anyway, purpose aside, I'm going to show you around the jacket and uh, you can make up your own mind. It's a great jacket. It's a real, it's a real beauty. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I would use it for personally. But anyway, right, let's have a look around it together. So, XL, as I said, uh, the sleeves are a good length, not super long, but they cover the wrist, down halfway down the hand, and the cuffs have this really nice uh, adjustment, nice and simple. So there's two poppers and this super strong webbing with the nice Fjall Raven logo on the popper and you can have it loose or you can cinch it tight, uh, tighter, but it's still, still loose-ish. So that's nice and simple, nothing to, um, to fail, you know, zippers and Velcro and stuff. This is just nice and simple. The jacket, it's, uh, the front of the jacket is fastened via these buttons. Let's have a, a little close up on those. Again, they've got the Fjellraven Snow Fox logo on them. And they're weird buttons. They're these sort of um, articulated floating buttons. And they rattle. Can you hear that? They're very rattly buttons. However, they need to have some movement, some articulation, to be able to go through the holes. And uh, it's not the easiest of jackets to fasten. Uh, I'm having a bit of trouble. Now, admittedly, this jacket is basically new and it's very, very stiff. It's a very stiff material, so the buttonholes are quite firm. But, <clears throat> and it'll probably loosen up over, over time as you do it but I'm getting there I'm getting there this is high octane stuff hey there right quite a snug fit on me I admit I probably would go double XL or lose 10 kilos <laughs> that would be the ideal thing hang on I could tighten it up at the neck <coughs> oh gosh that's tight wow ah, I'm getting there I can't do it I can't do it no I can't do it the collar is nice, comes up, can you see? Nice stiff collar, fold that back down. Right, I'm keeping it uh, fastened so that you can see the shape of it, as uh, Ed Sheeran once sang. The pockets are cool, they're these angled open pockets, no zips, uh, no poppers, uh, the hand just fits just sits perfectly in those. They, they're a really good shaped pocket. They're huge as well. Uh, goes right from here to here. So that's, that's my hand inside. That's nice, I like that. Stuff's gonna fall out. Stuff's gonna fall out probably. But it's not really for stuff. I think it's hand pockets. I'll just do a little turn. There's not much on the back to see, but you can get to see it. Just a plain back. Super sturdy material, it's incredible stuff. Right, I'm unbuttoning it. Uh, definitely easier to unbutton than it is to button up. 
uh, and I'll show you the inside. I'll keep it on actually for this bit. So there is a inside pocket that's zipped, and this is um, sort of ripstop material, quite shallow. There's a uh, that's probably wallet or phone pocket. However, inside this pocket is a funny little meshed pocket that would be for your phone. That's a really nice little feature. Uh, it's really stretchy. You fit your phone in there. So, within this right hand pocket is your phone sub pocket. Hang on, let me take it off and show you close up. Because that's a cool feature. I do like that. Right, I'm coming in. Oh, there's the G1000 logo. G1000 writing. Oh, just stitched very uh, discreetly onto the pocket. So in there, in the little right hand pocket is who it's difficult to show you probably won't focus here you go try that there okay let's whilst we've got the jacket off i'll show you the inside uh little hook for putting it on the coat rack bit of fjall raven stuff here raven men's xl and on the right hand well hang on that's the left behind the left pocket a little bit adapt your g1000 garment with greenland wax so a mix of paraffin and beeswax, you can make it yourself. Uh, I should, probably shouldn't say that, but uh, make it yourself relatively cheaply from the materials, just melt it together and then let it harden. And you, it's the same as the Greenland wax. That's how you do it. There's the instructions, there's the label. So this is the 87006 Vardag Jacket M Le uh, details, made in Vietnam whether that's important to you. Now the the way it's made is absolutely awesome. Very, very sturdy, very well made. Just one slight thing, the uh, the yoke, is that the yoke, the shoulder bit? Uh, there's a little bit of um, ripstop material stitched in. Uh, so that double, there's a slight double doubling uh, there. The rest of it is all just sing single layered. That is it for the Vardag Jacket M. Stay with me though, hang on. There's something exciting still to come. <laughs> Don't go anywhere just yet. So this one, that's the color you'd go for, I reckon. Really nice color. Oh, there's little floating caterpillars coming down. Hang on, let me just get rid of that before it goes in my, in my hair. Uh, right, this is the nice color. I like this color. This is the, the, the color I would choose if I were to buy this jacket to keep forever which I won't because it's not really my style. But I'm taking it off and then I'm going to model a different colour. Unprecedented excitement in the world of my YouTube channel. So I've got this mustard one as well. So this is the same jacket, the same size. Everything about it is the same. The fit is the same. Same rattly buttons, same difficulty putting the buttons on. However, different colour. What do you think of that colour? You like it? It's quite nice, isn't it? Now this is significantly <laughs> different from that green. Hang on, let me just get the green and show you side by side. It is a nice colour though. Quite European, I think. You see this on the streets of uh, Amsterdam or Paris. Um, the green is a little more discreet and in keeping with the Fiera Raven brand. One thing I didn't mention is the logo. So the logo is stitched onto the left hand pocket and it's the old old school version. Really lovely logo. Uh, on the on the mustard it's well it's whatever you reckon. Sort of stands out better on the green. The little Swedish flag is cool. Hey, this, that's interesting. Just a little point to note. The green, when I was wearing the green, nothing nothing going on. Now I'm wearing the yellow. I'm getting these little bugs landing on me. It's spring, hot today, 25 degrees, here in, uh, in the Vienne department of France. Uh, and I'm getting little insects landing on me, which is what they do, uh, yellow, colours tend to attract the insects. Something to bear in mind, just a, an interesting little point. 
Right, I've waffled on enough. You've seen the jacket. I'll let you decide what you think. You've heard my opinion. Not my style, but a superb jacket. The material is, like, sturdy as hell. Flipping heck. Um, I like this material. I'll, I'll just, uh, just waffle on a bit more because uh, it's a lovely day out here. Um, I really like this material because I used to be well into Gore-Tex and Event and all the high-tech materials. You'd pop that on, have a little hike through the forest, get snagged on a bramble, and it rips a long hole in your 300 uh, euro jacket. Well, I mean, that's just, ah, uh, that could ruin your day. This, pop that on. Now, I know it's not Gore-Tex, I know it's not Event, it's, it's not doing the same high-tech stuff, but for uh, most of the time, this sort of material is just, is, is perfectly adequate. You walk past a bramble, it snags, it's not, it, it's not going to do anything, and if it does do anything, it's not going to do a huge amount. And this stuff, sturdy, whew, I reckon you could, uh, I reckon you could jump into a bramble hedge and come out unscathed. Do, <laughs> disclaimer, don't do that, and don't blame me if you do jump into a bramble hedge and come out scathed. But anyway, you, you get the point, it's very sturdy material. Right, I've waffled on long enough, I'm taking the yellow off because I'm getting loads of insects coming towards me, I'll put the green back on. Thanks very much for sticking with me through the, this rather odd review, but you get you got to see the Vardag M jacket. What do you reckon? Do you like it? Comment below, let me know your thoughts. Um, like my video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, don't touch that like button. This YouTube sent me a mail and said that they um, they, they spam people that click the, the dislike. Uh, I'm joking, just uh, like, like is enough. And then uh, subscribe, you know, the uh, usual YouTube requests. Have a look around my channel. I do watches, knives, EDC. This I sort of class as EDC. This stuff, this, the Fiel Raven. I'm trying the pronunciation. I may have got it wrong. Uh, do forgive me if I'm way off. Thanks very much. I'll see you soon.